YouTube! It's been a minute! I'm sorry I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm going to show you the build right away. I know you see the title and the thumbnail. I'm just a little excited because we're finally getting our Pro-Am team together. I'd appreciate if you guys stay for the whole video, but if you don't want to, I get it. You just want to see the build. All I ask is that y'all leave a like on the video for your boy. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. So position, center, height, 7 foot, weight, 264 pounds with a 71 wingspan. And here are the attributes. Go ahead and screenshot if you need to. But let's get started on an explanation. Let's start with close shot. You have a 75 close shot. I'm telling you right now, this is enough. As long as you're wide open, it's going in. If you even get a mismatch, you get a smaller defender on you, you could paint mash on them. You get bronze paint prodigy and silver hook specialist. Now, if you can't get close shot any higher to the point where it's closer in the 90s where you could just paint mash like an inside big, there's no reason to go any higher on this. And plus, even when we were playing Pro-Am in a 5v5 setting, our center barely ever paint mashes. So there's no point to having this any higher. Next, you have a 70 driving dunk, which gives you aerial wizard on silver. And you actually get the pro alley-oop package animations. So you can catch lots with this build. And if you guys didn't know, alley-oops are actually pretty good this year. You have an 81 standing dunk to give you that rise up on silver. Meter dunking is trash this year. So going any higher than this, like going 90 or anything above 90, there's just no point. As long as you're wide open, 81 is enough. You're not gonna get crazy contact dunks at 90 or above. Meter dunking is trash this year. Get this to 81, get that rise up on silver and you'll finish easily inside. 77 post control gets you all your post badges except for unpluggable on silver. And I'm telling you right now, this is enough. Again, we don't really paint mash when it comes to our 5v5 games. So as long as our center gets the switch with a smaller defender, this is enough to bully them in the paint. So we don't really see the reason to put these any higher because you can shoot on this build and we're spacing the floor a lot more. We just need something as long as you're wide open or if you get a mismatch, you could finish in the inside. 75 mid range and an 85 three ball. I'm telling you right now, the 75 mid range, as long as you're wide open, you're green in this. And for the 85 three ball, it's for silver dead eye. And obviously you can easily green with 85 three ball. And then of course we have an 84 free throw because when you run Pro-Am or 5v5, free throw is kind of essential. Now for your playmaking, you have a 92 pass accuracy, 57 ball handle on 40 speed with ball. 40 speed with ball gets you the normal dribble style and 40 ball handle gets you all the normal dribble animations. Now this 92 pass act, you need 93 for Hall of Fame break starter. So the plus one that you get, the plus one cap breaker for at level 40 season rewards, for this, for season two, this is where you're putting it for that Hall of Fame break starter. Now time for your defense. You have an 83 interior, 62 perimeter for that bronze immovable enforcer, 60 steel for that bronze interceptor, 88 block for that gold high flying denier, and 94 O board and then 84 D board. Now this is where you're gonna put your cap breakers. You're gonna put five on O board to get that 99 offensive rebound for that legend rebound chaser. And you're gonna put five on interior defense to get you that 88 interior defense for gold post lockdown. But here's a little tweak that you can make when it comes to your cap breakers. If you didn't know, the most cap breakers you could put on a single attribute is five. So even if my interior defense could go all the way up to 99, the most I could put on it is five cap breakers. That's why I have it at 83. So when I put the next cap breakers, I can get it to 88 for gold post lockdown. Because if I keep it at 82 and I finish the build and I put VC and blah, blah, blah. The most I can get on interior defense is 87. So that's why I have it at 83. But if you know that you're not gonna put your cap breakers on interior defense, instead you wanna put it on block, get that 93 block, get gold paint patroller, then I recommend going 82 interior. As you guys can see, you don't get anything between 82 and 83, but you do get a silver post lockdown from 81 to 82. So at very minimum, keep it at 82. But if you know you're gonna put five cap breakers on interior defense, go 83 so you can go 88 to get that gold post lockdown but like i said again <laughs> i know i'm over explaining it but if you want to put it on block instead go 82 here and then when you get your five cab breakers go 93 block and then now you have a little bit extra attributes to put anywhere else you go you can go max out your free throw if you want now time for your physicals you have a 66 speed to give you that gold high flying denier 50 agility 91 strength and 80 vertical now this is where you're gonna put your other five cab breakers you're gonna go 96 strength to get you legend box out beast and hall of fame brick wall 
All right, let's recap real quick where you want to put your cab breakers. As we know right now, right, we're in season two. We have 16 cab breakers. We have 15 from the rep rewards and we have one from the level 40 season two reward. OK, so the first five you want to put, you want to put it in this order, or at least this is what I recommend. The first five you want to put it on offensive rebound. Get that 99 offensive rebound for that legend rebound chaser. Your next five, you want to put it on strength to get legend box out beast and hall of fame brick wall. And then your last five, you want to put it on interior defense to get that gold post lockdown 88 interior defense for gold post lockdown and then level 40 the plus one at level 40 you want to put it on pass accuracy to get that hall of fame break starter now any extra that we get right we don't know if we're gonna get any more we might get five more we might not even get any more okay but any more that we get this is where i recommend you put it either put it on block we might get five more because there's six seasons left we might get it might be a level 40 reward for the next I don't know how many seasons. So if we do get five more, I recommend, even if we get one or two more, I'd put it on block, right? The higher the block, the better chances that your player will go for the block. Same with defensive rebound. So if you want to put it on defensive rebound, that's okay too. The higher the rating, the higher the chances that you'll get the board. So either way, any extra cap breakers that we get, either put it on block or put it on defensive rebound. Or if you're okay with block being the way it is and defensive rebound being the way it is, you could also put it on pass accuracy. So the highest you can go on your pass accuracy is 97. So you could put more on this. You get bailout on gold at 94 pass act. You get versatile visionary on gold at 95 pass act. So you have multiple choices where you want to put it. But the highest or, or the most I recommend where to put it is either block or defensive rebound when it comes to this build. And here's the build name. You get two-way stretch five playmaker, which is a crazy name. And you get shades of Joel and B, Chris Bosch, and Nikola Jokic. Those are crazy comparisons. Hey man, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Hopefully this build has helped y'all out. You don't have to make it exactly how I showed you. You can tweak it however you want. But if you are looking for a Pro-Am Reg 5v5 center build, this is the build for you. It could work in the 3v3 maybe the 2v2 maybe the 1v1 but i highly recommend if you play a lot of reg a lot of pro-am 5v5 this is the build for you anyways man as always i hope you enjoyed your time here you already know what to do like subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you guys never miss a future video and you don't miss any of the live stream you could probably get a lot of these builds out of me before i make the build video on my live stream so make sure to tap in anyways man thanks for watching i'll catch y'all next time i'm out Previously on Ready to Die.